Live from Las Vegas, it's time for Fox 5 News at 5. A Valley woman speaks exclusively with Fox 5 after she and her dog were viciously attacked by a pit bull. We'll hear from her and find out what the dog's owner did during the attack. This is Fox 5 News at 5. Local Las Vegas. A young Valley woman is brutally attacked by a dog, and witnesses say the owner of that animal did nothing to help. I'm Olivia Fierro. I'm John Huck. It happened yesterday evening at an apartment complex near Fort Apache and Twain. Fox Eyes' Lauren Murphy spoke exclusively with the victim today. She joins us live at the scene of the attack with a story you'll only see on Fox 5. Lauren? Well, guys, this woman was just walking her little Maltese Kobe. As you can see, such a sweet dog and such a sweet temperament. Then out of nowhere, a pit bull attacks. He pretty much just like um, tackled me down. Ripped blood-stained clothes, evidence of a vicious attack. It happened last night when Allison Palisok took her seven-year-old Maltese for a walk. And then all of a sudden, the, the huge dog just came up to Kobe, sniffed him, but then just started just attacking him like crazy. Allison panicked and intervened. After that, I tried to um, pick up my dog, and that's when like the dog noticed that I picked him up, and so the big dog tried to attack me as well. The pit bull tore at her face, her back, her leg. Neighbors ran to her side. It looked like it was going for her neck. So I, if Tony wasn't there, honestly, to push the dog off of her, I don't know. It would have been really bad. I don't know. But the owner of the unleashed, uncollared pit bull stood by and did nothing to help. They pretty much ran their houses, just retreated like we're not going to own up to the responsibility of our dog attacking someone else and her dog. So it was really like they didn't care. Did they check on her? Did they do anything like that? No. No. Allison ran behind these dumpsters to get away from that dog. Now, by the time she came out, the neighbor, the dog owner, was nowhere in sight. I think they just fled the scene. Allison spent four hours at the emergency room and $1,000 to save her dog. They said he had internal bleeding um, all over the body. Um, they had like a hairline fracture on the spine. Today, the neighbor responsible for the dog refused to even talk to Allison. Own up to your responsibility. You know, your dog attacked somebody and you need to own up to it. Now the pit bull owner did not return our calls, but oh, it's okay, sweetie. <laughs> but I spoke to Allison and she's told me that the owner did finally apologize just via text, but did offer to pay medical and vet, vet bills, but there's no word on whether that pit bull has been put to sleep. Reporting live, I'm Lauren Murphy, Fox 5 News Local, Las Vegas. Lauren, do we know if that pit bull is with animal control or is it still on the uh, apartment property? Um, as far as we, we weren't able to talk to the owner, uh, and animal control couldn't actually comment on this, so we don't know if it's there, but, uh, but nobody in the neighborhood had actually seen the dog in a little while, at least since last night. All right, Lauren Murphy for us this evening. Lauren, thank you. And as Lauren mentioned, we did contact animal control. They're not going to comment on this because it is an open case.